Welcome back everybody, and if you are new here, welcome to my channel. I like to post all sorts of recipes weekly. Please consider subscribing and be sure to click that bell notification. Okay, today we are making smothered chicken, and here's how I do it. To start, I am going to be using two to two and a half pounds of chicken thighs, bone in and skin on. Now you can use the cut of chicken of your choice, just know that it may vary in cook time. Okay, so now I'm going to season that with one teaspoon of season all seasoning salt and a half teaspoon of lemon pepper. If you do not have the seasoning salt, you can definitely just use one teaspoon of salt or season it how you like. I did fail to mention earlier that I used paper towels to pat my chicken dry. This will help for a better browning of the chicken. So bear that in mind when you're seasoning or before you work with a chicken. And another tip is to take the chill off of your thawed chicken, leave it on the countertop for around 15 minutes. This will also aid in a more even cook time. So now that my chicken is seasoned on both sides, I am going to dredge it and I'm going to be using around a third cup of all-purpose flour and I'm just going to put it on a plate and sort of spread it out throughout the plate and that'll make it easier to dredge both sides of my chicken. Once my chicken is dredged, now it's time to pan sear it. So here I've already preheated my cast iron skillet and I've added two tablespoons of cooking oil. So now what I'm going to do is place my chicken skin side down and I am going to cook my chicken six minutes on each side. I also want to mention that I am using a medium to medium high heat. I did not preheat this pan on high because I didn't want to burn anything before I actually get a golden brown color on the exterior. So once my chicken has cooked six minutes on the skin side down, I'm going to give it a flip and cook it again for six minutes on the other side. Now that my chicken is done browning, I'm going to remove it from the pan. And then I'm also going to remove all of the rendered fat that's in the pan. And it looks like I have right around two to three tablespoons of rendered fat, including the cooking oil that I started with. Now that my oil is removed, I'm going to start browning my mushrooms. I am using eight ounces of baby Bella mushrooms and I've just sliced them and now I'm going to saute them for around three to five minutes. Once my mushrooms are done, I'm going to remove them from the pan. Now that my mushrooms are done, I'm going to start sauteing some vegetables. I'm adding back the rendered oil slash fat that was in the pan from earlier. And now I'm going to add diced onion. This is probably a third of a large onion. I will put measurements in the description below. So now I'm going to start sauteing my onions. And as you can see, there are delicious brown bits at the bottom of the pan. So this will help lift some of those. Now I'm adding some diced celery. 
and basically I took one stick of celery and I diced it up finely. And I'm also going to add half of a large bell pepper. To help sweat out these vegetables, I am going to add just a pinch of salt, maybe somewhere between an eighth to a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Now that my onion, celery, and bell pepper have had a chance to saute and get a good head start, I'm going to add three cloves of minced garlic. I'm going to continue cooking these until everything is translucent and softened. That may take five minutes or it may take 10 minutes, but just know that I am definitely using somewhere between a medium to medium high heat. Okay, so I've sauteed for around 10 minutes. So now what I'm going to do is add one tablespoon of unsalted butter right into the pan. I'm going to melt that down and then I'm going to add two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. This is going to start, I guess, a roux for the gravy that we'll end up with to smother this chicken. Now that my flour is added, I am going to combine it with everything and continue, I guess, cooking it out until it starts to form this golden brown crust at the bottom. That may take around a minute. And now I'm going to add 16 to 18 ounces of chicken broth. Now, if you are using a homemade chicken broth that's maybe low sodium, you might want to add salt to taste later, but I'm actually using a combination of 18 ounces of water mixed with two tablespoons of Knorr chicken bouillon base. So I am not going to add any extra salt to this and I'm actually using a low sodium version of that. But definitely use what you have at home, whether it's a low sodium chicken broth or stock and just adjust the salt and seasoning to your preference. So now I'm just going to work in little by little the broth and work it into the flour. A good tip is to use a room temperature or cold broth to a hot pan or so that is what I've been told and it does work and I'm not even using a whisk it probably would be better if I did use a whisk but I'm just working it in with my spoon and I'm just going to pour it little by little and I'm not going to pull away you can definitely speed up this video and sort of skip all of this mixing and stirring but I'll tell you why I show it because I have a lot of beginner cooks or people that just want to see the process because if I skip over you might think you failed because it's not smooth and creamy from the beginning so this is kind of what it looks like so for those of you that are not novice cooks and just want to speed up go ahead but for my beginners this is what I'm dealing with okay so again you'll want to add it little by little and work in the liquid mix it with your roux now depending on how much flour you've added to your pan and what I mean by that is my tablespoon of flour might not be your tablespoon of flour unless you're weighing the, the ingredients. Now, this will determine how much broth you're going to use. So in this video, I ultimately used 16 ounces of broth, but some days when I'm not really measuring, I end up using 18. Okay. So you saw that process, all of my liquid is added. I've added my mushrooms right back into the pan. Now I'm going to add a little more pepper to taste. And then I'm going to add my chicken right back into the same pan.
Once you've added your chicken back into your skillet, you'll want to bring the sauce up to a simmer. That may take five minutes, that may take 10 minutes. Again, I'm only working with a medium heat. Now I'm going to cover with a lid and I'm going to lower the heat. I don't want to burn anything before the chicken cooks. And now I'm going to let this simmer with the lid on for 35 minutes or until your chicken reaches an internal temperature of 160 to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is 35 minutes of cook time and my chicken is done. Now I'm just going to garnish it with lightly dried parsley. You can use fresh parsley, that definitely works. And I'm going to serve this right on top of steamed white rice. And I will ladle on some more of that sauce and dinner is done. I certainly hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it and thanks for watching.